Hi, I am Dr. Kamal Kiran. I am a nephrologist and a transplant specialist. November 14th is celebrated internationally as the World Diabetes Day. This is to spread awareness that diabetes is here as a killer. An awareness day is held to spread awareness that this particular disease exists and that it can kill. Diabetes is a huge burden on the whole world. Anywhere in the world, including in our own country, diabetes affects a huge swath of the population. In the urban populations, about 10 to 15 percent of adults above the age of 30 years are affected with diabetes. And in the rural population, though it's supposed to be low, it is rising. And it's it was 3 percent in the past, it's now around 7 to 8 percent now. Just means to say that diabetes has become an endemic pandemic or a huge epidemic now. The epidemic proportions that has risen because of diabetes leads to a large plethora of complications. Mainly among them, the nerves, the blood vessels, the brain, the heart, the kidneys and the eyes are predominantly affected by diabetes. Me being a nephrologist, the awareness about kidney diseases because of diabetes takes paramount importance to us. In our country, we have almost 1 lakh people on dialysis. And if everybody had access to medical care and dialysis in our country, we would have actually 11 lakh people on dialysis. It's unfortunate that we have only 1 lakh people on dialysis because of inadequate access to health care and dialysis. Out of these 1 lakh people on dialysis, around 40 to 45 percent of them are because of diabetes alone. All other conditions are secondary to it, including hypertension, stone disease, autoimmune diseases, antibody diseases, and genetic diseases. So, diabetic the nephropathy or diabetic kidney disease is a huge burden in our dialysis populations. Diabetes kills the kidneys. If someone gets diabetes today, by the end of 20 years, almost 20 to 30 percent of them will land in diabetic kidney failure requiring dialysis or a transplantation. And the problem is that, that many diabetics don't even reach complete kidney failure even though they have started kidney disease and this is not a good thing because they die in between because of cardiovascular diseases that is either a heart attack or a stroke in the brain and many of them also succumb to various diseases like because the blood vessels are blocked kid diabetic kidney foot where the legs the feet get infected and have to be amputated in these particular uh, poor individuals diabetes can be diagnosed very easily with just simple blood tests the simple blood tests are on a blood sugar and a urine test for sugars and other small blood tests that are being done for these patients. Any diabetic who has had a family history of kidney disease in his family has, is at a high risk of getting diabetic kidney disease and should check himself as often as possible. A diabetic should be checking for his chance of a risk of getting diabetic kidney disease by just a simple test. Uh, urine albumin creatinine test we call the microalbuminuria test this will always guide us whether the patient has a high risk for getting diabetic disease in the future and this test should be repeated every year likewise he should get his eyes checked as well because if he has a diabetic retinopathy there is a 66 percent chance that he has a diabetic nephropathy as well patients who have had diabetic disease and have got a nephropathy building up now if the creatinine even moves up to around say 1.4 or 1.5 it means that they will lose their kidney function by at least 10 percent every year a normal individual after the age of 40 will use will lose his kidney function 10 percent every 10 years and in diabetes it is hazened so a diabetic who develops kidney disease starting around a creatinine of around say 1.4 or 1.5 you can take it that he is destined to land up on dialysis or kidney failure within five years to six years of its onset. That's the rapidity of diabetes. The number of patients that we have in our unit, like any other unit, half of our kidney failure patients is because of diabetes alone. And these patients have frequent problems with infections, strokes, uh, in, strokes in the brain, heart attacks, and other problems leading to repeated hospitalizations and sometimes even fatalities. Due to overabundance of food, carbohydrate diet and very less activity nowadays because of very easy travel as well as the remote control kind of lifestyle that we have these days, diabetes is expanding and increasing very much. It's affecting the younger age groups as well. But most often people above the age of 30 
up to age of around 60 or 70 are the ones where diabetes affects the most. Younger populations are spared to some extent but it looks like those numbers are rising as well.